Now we're going to talk about specification of the state of a system and I would like to give you some uh, background information on uh, quantum mechanics. Uh, basically we're going to use some basic principles uh, in this discussion. Uh, first of all uh, we should understand the idea of a quantum state. Uh, we will see that when you have a system of atomic particles they are always found to be in a discrete set of states that, that is characteristic of the system. We call these quantum states. Uh, so that's the first definition we need to know. A system of atomic particles is always found to be in a discrete, not continuous, so discrete set of what we call quantum states. And this is characteristic of the system. That is to say, we have, if you specify the discrete set of quantum states, you can, uh, you have a characteristic of the system uh, given by this description. Uh, for each quantum state, there is going to be an associated energy level. So um, when we talk about the energy of the system, uh, we need to know what quantum state the system is in. So each quantum state is associated with its corresponding energy level and we have a special case here if you find that there are several quantum states that correspond to the same energy level then we call those quantum states uh, degenerate so if several quantum states correspond to the same energy level we call them they are said to be Degenerate. Now, there is one particular quantum state that has the lowest possible energy of the system. We call that the ground state. The quantum state. with the lowest possible energy is called the ground state. And we have other states of the system that correspond to higher energy levels. And in order to distinguish between the lowest energy level state and uh, others, we call uh, these states, other states with higher energy levels, excited states.
we can easily show these concepts uh, in what we call an energy uh, diagram. So uh, let's plot the states as a function of energy. So this is increasing energy of the system. So I show energy of the system with E. And let's say that at this energy, uh, I have one particular state. Uh, at this energy, I have three states. And at this higher energy, um, I have five states, five quantum states. Now, uh, according to the definitions I gave you, I can label these states. So this is the one that has the lowest possible energy. So I'm going to call this state the ground state of the system. Uh, the other two energy levels, um, set of uh, five, eight quantum states, they are with uh, corresponding energies that is higher than the lowest possible energy. Therefore, I'm going to call these states excited states. And now I want to decide if these states are degenerate or non-degenerate. So for this one and for this one, I see that I have uh, more than one quantum state that corresponds to a given energy level. So both of these uh, energy levels have degenerate states. And when I look at the ground state, I see that there is only one quantum state that's, that corresponds to this energy level. Therefore, this is a non-degenerate quantum state. Uh, so basically, all the concepts that I have introduced here uh, are demonstrated in this energy diagram. So this is what we call an energy diagram of the system. Okay, so let's summarize what we said. Uh, we're trying to specify the state of the system. Remember, in our statistical mechanics uh, arguments, we have to have a specification of the state of the system. Uh, for the system of atomic particles, we find them always in a discrete set of states, not continuous. We call them quantum states, that's characteristic of the system. And there is an energy level that corresponds to each of these quantum states. So I can call this energy level E0, this is E1, this is E2, etc. So there are several energy levels. And if I find that there is more than one quantum state that corresponds to the same energy level, I call those states degenerate. For the ground state, I have only one quantum state, so it's non-degenerate. For the other two states with higher energies, I have uh, three quantum states for energy level E1 and five quantum states for energy level E2. So both of these two are degenerate and the ground state is non-degenerate. Um, the ground state is which one? That's, it's the one that has the lowest possible energy. Uh, it's the ground state and higher energies correspond to the excited state. So you can see here E0 is the lowest possible energy. E0 is less than E1, is less than E2. So E1 and E2 levels correspond to excited states and E0 corresponds to the ground state of the system.